Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G. So this one, medyo nalilito ako, no? Kasi there's two variant na nilabas. 4G and 5G variant. Ang hawak natin right now is the 4G variant. This one is being powered by the Helio G99 Ultra, which is a very popular na chip and pinagsawaan na natin. 6.67 inch AMOLED display. 200 MP ang main camera sensor with a 67 watts na charging support. And with all those specs na sinabi ko sa inyo, ang kanya 8256 is being priced at 13999 and ang kanya 1252 is being priced at 15999 More details after this quick intro. Now you'll see a very identical phone dito dalawa. This is the Redmi Note 13. This is the Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G. So the only difference dito sa kanila is medyo mas malaki ang kanyang camera module dito. And other than that, it's almost the same form factor. Baka malito lang kayo. Plus nakasulat din dito sa kanya is 200 MP. Now ang kanyang design is square na square, flat na flat ang likod. And yung kanyang shininess dito sa likod is Definitely a very fingerprint magnet dito. Puro smudge na nga, oh. Now, medyo malaki ang kanyang camera module dito. So, medyo malaki rin ang kanyang camera bump. So, if you place it on a flat surface, I'm sure na magwa-wobble na lang ito. One of the good things dito sa kanya is still nandiyan ang kanyang audio jack. And with that price point, I would say na pretty decent and pretty thin ang kanyang bezel dito sa phone na ito. Now, itong phone na ito, having the very popular na Helio G99 Ultra. I was excited nung ina-unbox ko tong bagong phone na ito. Until, nalaman ko na G99 Ultra lang pala ito. It was able to squeak out a 421,000 points. This is the breakdown score. 348 ang kanilang loop score and 99% ang kanilang stability. No thermal throttling detected dito sa kanilang thermal throttling test. And ito naman score nakuha na dito sa Geekbench, sa CPU benchmarking and sa GPU benchmarking. Pag-usapan naman natin kanya display. This one is a 6.67 inch na AMOLED display with 120Hz of screen refresh rate with a maximum brightness of 1,300 nits. This one is being protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 so ensuring a scratch resistance up to a certain level. So if you're the type of person na mahilig sa social media, this one is definitely a friendly phone for you. Scrolling on social media, sa mga feeds, sa mga shorts, sa mga reels, it's definitely fast dahil sa kanyang high refresh rate. And if you like watching mga HD content, kayang-kaya din ito phone na ito dahil this one, it has a level 1 Wi-Fi security level. So you can watch all of the HD content here on this phone. I did watch several videos dito sa phone na ito, and the experience on this phone is not so bad after all. Even though with that price point, very decent ang kanyang display. So since this one has a 5-hole dito sa ibabaw and 5-hole dito sa ilalim na loudspeaker, pakinggan na natin ka ng sounds. Now, good news, ang kanyang sound is as loud as yung kanyang 5G variant. So, good job on this one. Meron siya 5,000 mAh sa battery dito and can support up to 67 watts of fast charging. Charging the 0 to 100 can take you around mga 1 hour to complete the task. And ang kind of battery can last you a whole day without charging when you're using it normally. And I did play one game dito sa phone na ito, Firelight 84. Ito ang maximum graphical settings sa kaya mo play And I would say na medyo hirap siya on Firelight 84 at maximum graphical settings. And you really feel a lot of lags, a lot of frame drops along the way. And my best suggestion is medyo i-lower down your graphical settings just to be able to play it a little bit more smoothly. Napag-usapan natin ka ng camera dito. This one has a 200MP na main camera sensor, 8MP na ultra-wide lens, and 2MP na macro lens. And ang kanyang main sensor has OIS. And this one can shoot up to 1080p and 60fps. And ang kanyang front-facing camera is a 16MP na main camera shooter which can shoot up to 1080p and 60fps. 
Now guys, pag-usapan naman natin some outdoor shot dito from this camera. I would say na quite impressed ako sa kanyang outdoor shot and this one looks very natural, very detailed. Well, once sino mo tong picture na ito, no? all of those details sa mga bato na ito is pretty much preserved. And also looking at this other shot, yung bato na ito, no? plus yung mga vines and other of the uh, imperfection dito sa bato na ito is very rich sa kanyang details. Now looking at this art shot sa Chinatown art, you'd see all of this carved is uh, really nice. Now, laro naman natin kanya ultra wide shot. This is how it looks like. Then this is a normal shot. This is a two time zoom shot, and this is a four time zoom shot. Na pagdating sa four time zoom shot, makita mo medyo blurry na siya, no? So hindi siya ganon kaganda na pagdating sa four time zoom. Now, if you play it naman indoor, ganito ito yun yah on the ultra wide shot. Then this is a normal shot. This is a two time zoom shot, and this is a four time zoom shot. Ah, four time zoom shot, medyo mas grainy na rin once as yun umin mo dito sa mga object na nakita natin from far apart. Nothing really bad dito sa pictures na mga nakuha natin for mga Apparels indoors, it looks good. Makita natin mga colors are also the colors reproduced are not so bad at all. Now, if you look at some selfie shot dito, dumum papansin na medyo a little bit uh, soften ang kanyang pictures. Not the best quality that you get on a selfie camera, but it's well acceptable naman kay papano kanyang mga outdoor shot. Now, pagdating sa indoor, you'll see really some a little bit blurry kunti ang mga shots na nakuha natin. And hindi sobrang sharp mga photo na nakita natin, no? Those are my observations sa kanyang front-facing camera. Now, let's move on naman sa kanyang video for the front-facing camera. I'd say, well, shaky. Hindi naman sobrang shaky, but the video quality is not so bad. And medyo nag-underperform lang siya kunti on low light condition. And this is how it looks like when you're taking videos using the uh, rear camera it's shaky definitely but the quality yung kanyang video resolution is not so bad now with a price tag of 13999 would i recommend the phone na ito after revealing all of the capabilities na kaya nang gawin honestly medyo namamahalan ako sa 13999 if this one could have gotten a price drop to around mga 11999 this one would definitely be a good choice medyo hindi lang ako masyado na convinced dito sa phone na ito dahil sa kanyang G99 Ultra na processor but overall, the performance is okay naman. But of course, could have been better with a better chip. Abangan nyo lang, once na nagkaroon ng sale, I'm pretty sure that this one would get a price drop. So this one would definitely be good if you're buying this at around mga 12,000 pesos. So if you're interested to know kung saan nyo pwede mabili to phone nito, link on the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to share to your friends. Any subscription to this channel is definitely appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. And so, ako para si Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. For one of my latest uploads, click the dito. And for one of my popular uploads, click here.